so add a cylinder and vertex should be 6 then scale it down like this and then move it along the z axis and then fix it at its right position then select this face and then delete these faces now you need to add one more cylinder and this time we will give the vertex amount 24 so give the amount 24 and then scale it down and then fix it above the our last cylinder and delete these words and so we will get the 2D planar shape of the circle. Select this face and then insert it and then delete this face like this. Okay, that's fine. Then we need to add few loop cuts. So before that just join and then start to add three loop cuts on each side of the hexagon so add loop cuts like this okay that's fine then select these faces and then press F to fill the gap select your age and press F to fill the gap okay now that's look pretty well then select the bottom edge and E to extrude and then scale it down then one more time same step and then select that edge and use the loop tool to make it circle and then press F to fill the gap and then one more time extrude it and scale it down so just we are trying to get the good shape then add a subdivision surface modifier so you can see this happens because of the normal direction so that's why go to the edit mode and then recalculate the normal then add loop cuts supporty loop cuts are important supporty edges to maintain the shape of the mesh then shade smooth it and that's look pretty well now select the corner words because we want to give the curve so that's why you need to select the corner words and then move them along the z axis then select these words and just we want to maintain the curve shape so that's why we need to move these words along the z axis and just try to maintain the curve shape then add support loop cuts here okay then add one more support loop cut here and now that's look pretty good decent that's fine you can add a variety in your nuts and bolts with the same pearl steps so just add support loop cuts here just to tight the edges it's totally depend on you which kind of shape do you want for your bolt for your mesh Then press F to fill the gap. Just move this loop cut little bit down. And now you need to connect the vertex path option to make the chord based geometry. So just select the words and then right click and then connect vertex path. Do the same step with here also with this face if you want to add more detail on it then first add the details and then do the connect vertex path step 
so that's why I am I'm adding more detail on it so that's why just insert it and then use the symbols use the simple operations to make your geometry more good and then select the words and use the connect vertex path option to make the chord based geometry and you can see our topology looks pretty well decent then shift D to duplicate and we will add more variety in our bold. Now select these edges and we will make the sharper corners, sharper edges of the bottom hexagon cylinder. So that's why just select these edges and double tap G and then move them toward the corner. Okay. So then we will get the sharper edge at the corner. So we can add easily the varieties in our mesh. So that's why the right topology is important. Do the same step for all corners. See the difference in between these two bolts. Easily we can edit the bolt, and you can see one bolt has a sharper edge, and another one has smoother edges. Then shift D to duplicate, and then we will use the simple symmetrize operation here to add a little bit of variety in it. Choose the proper axis for that, and you can see easily we create we have created this different mesh, and now it's look decent. You can see the different varieties. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.